Hey everyone, it's Katie from Life with the Fultons, and today I am going to be reviewing the first grade Timberdoodle homeschool curriculum kit. This is our second year using Timberdoodle, so obviously I like it. <laughs> Timberdoodle is a boxed curriculum. If you're unfamiliar with the, what that term means, it's basically everything's in the box. <laughs> so everything is Everything is ready for you to use basically out of the box and it includes everything. So it's language arts, math, science, arts, like everything. So ready to go out of the box, box curriculum. Before we had Timberdoodle, we used a curriculum called Sunlight and we didn't really care for that very much. So we only used it for part of a year and that was in preschool and then we switched over to Timberdoodle and then so this is our third year homeschooling second year with Timberdoodle. The one thing about Timberdoodle that might be a big drawback to some people certainly is a little bit hard to swallow for me and that is the price. It's not like it's an insane amount of money um, it's just it's expensive it's it's pricey but it is also very much worth it and a lot of the stuff you can reuse. The pricing goes, I think on the low end, like 250 for a basic um, lower grade kit. And then I think all the way it works up to about $1,000 for high school elite, like full package kits. But then that straight gets us into the good side of things, that there is a lot of different ways to buy Timberdoodle. Like I mentioned, there's a basic kit, there's a complete kit, and then there's an elite kit for every grade level starting at preschool all the way up to 12th grade. There's those three options. Then there's also a secular elite kit. There's customizable kits. There's refill kits for younger children. And they also allow you to email them with custom kit orders. So it's very versatile in what you can put in the kit and they have a lot of things to choose from. So now I'm gonna show you a few things that we are really enjoying from this kit this year. So this is the first grade Matthew C. Um, Alpha. We used Primer last year and we really enjoyed it. We also bought the manipulatives that come with Matthew C. in the previous year. So here's the manipulatives. All the different, the different bars for that, different units. So because Timberdoodle is so awesome, <laughs> they don't just include Matthew C, they also include different levels where you can do the everything, you can do just the student workbook, um, or you can do, you know, the instruction manual, the workbook, and the manipulatives. So we really are continuing to enjoy Matthew C, but this is the first year that Timberdoodle has included it in their kit. The next thing we're really enjoying this year is the story of the world. So we are on volume one. There is four volumes of Story of the World, but the kindergarten comes with volume one. It also has audio CDs that go with it. You can choose to buy those or not. We happen to buy them and we like them. And then there is an activity book which has kind of like a, a, a teaching guide in the beginning and then it's the student pages at the end. So we are really enjoying that. I love the audio CDs. Same thing with Matthew C. It's a little bit of the teaching kind of taken off of me a little bit and I can be more support, which frees me up obviously to do other things with my younger daughter. So moving on to art, we're still enjoying these uh, Dejaco things that Timberdoodle includes. They include some of this stuff I know in their kindergarten kit, probably in their second and third grade kits as well. But this year it's this one. It's these little buttons that they get to sew on with a needle and thread. It's a blunt needle, but my daughter really likes it. There's only four in the pack, so we have kind of split it up. She's done this part. There's a little part here on the table um, and some parts in the grass. So we'll probably do one or two more sessions with that. Next up, still in the art portion of things, is this Outdoor Adventure Doodles. While we've had nice weather, this is the last thing we do for the day, and my daughter actually, she says it's called Outdoor Adventure, so she goes outside to color these pages. Um, and I really like these kinds of books where it gives them a little bit of an idea of something to do and then they can kind of fill in. And then the last thing I'm going to show you, and there's so much more that I want to show you, but otherwise, this video would be so long if I sat here and talked about every single thing that's in the kit. So the last thing 
is Rush Hour. My daughter absolutely loves the logic games that Timberdoodle puts in, and this one is no different. Uh, it's just a little game board, and you have cards, and you have to set up the traffic jam and try to get the ice cream truck out. <laughs> it's really fun. My daughter really likes it. So we are really enjoying this curriculum. I think there's probably only one thing that I don't like, and that is that there is no kind of seasonal um, holiday kind of studies. So for example, we just went through Thanksgiving and there was nothing in there for me to teach her about Thanksgiving. So, I mean, obviously I can go and find things online and find different resources, but it would just be really nice, I think, if maybe there was like some type of extra book that was just like a seasonal, like pull out these activities when you want to, like some Halloween stuff and Thanksgiving, Christmas and just that kind of, of stuff I think is really fun for kids, especially their age. And it would be really fun to have in the kit. Like I said, I can go on Pinterest and I can look for things and we certainly do do other things, but I think that would be one thing that I would definitely add. All right guys, that's it for my review of the first grade Timberdoodle homeschool curriculum. <laughs> If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, go ahead and hit subscribe and comment down below your questions or comments about the Timberdoodle curriculum. Thanks guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.